Don't wait another 40 years to grab yours today and a link to the actual Mattel Creations purchase page. What the hell? Am I reading that right? Whoa! Hey guys, Jay! Welcome back to the channel. So guys, the last video I posted seems to have hit a bit of a chord with um, many fans. Um, there seems to be, well, discussions on both sides. Some people are actually, you know, very happy that were, they were able to actually pick up uh, the He-Man 40th Anniversary 4-Pack. I mean, myself included. Uh, but then there are also people who are very staunchly against uh, this type of practice of, you know, price increases. So, I thought it might be prudent to go through a few of these uh, comments uh, that I've noticed and, you know, take a bit of a... Uh, you know, a look at both sides. Um, but in doing so, I found something very interesting. And I thought it was a glitch early this morning when I was uh, doing my first video. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show some highlights of that when I, when I discovered it. But I do have to say that um, what's come out of that is quite shocking, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's take a deep dive into this and uh, really examine what happened uh, today with the pricing uh, for Mattel Creations for uh, countries outside of the United States. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. So guys, let's take a deep dive into this and see exactly what happened uh, Yeah, pretty much after I uh, posted my video. Let's have a look. So guys, I thought it was important to, uh, you know, take a look at uh, some of the comments that have been coming in uh, on my last video. Um, by the way, thank you guys for, for uh, watching the video and, um, you know, putting in your comments. It really means a lot to the channel. And of course, uh, I, I love the conversation and, uh, you know, the dialogue that's being put forward by so many different people about uh, this whole situation. Um, and it's very important for us to talk about these types of things as a community. So... Um, after I posted my video, it seems like it hits some sort of a chord with a lot of fans and people took to the comment section to actually voice their opinions on that and I'm really grateful for that. And uh, upon doing this uh, actual review of the different comments, I started noticing a pattern happening and it wasn't just on YouTube, it was also on Facebook and on Instagram. So I wanted to touch on the, touch up on that as well. So let's uh, let's take a little bit of a deep dive into this. If we take a look at uh, at my video uh, that I posted earlier today, thank you guys for, again for for watching the video and commenting on the video. It's 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 really really quite amazing. 327 likes, incredible. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh, just crazy. We can see that there have been a lot of comments. Uh, I think it, it, I think right now it's approaching 150 comments. Uh, last I checked, and that actually might be uh, shy right now because I didn't I checked it about an hour ago. People are again chiming in on this on both sides. It's kind of crazy. One of the one of the comments I wanted to highlight was from Ustramandus Toys, another great YouTube channel. Definitely go check out his uh, his channel if you guys haven't already. Ustramandus goes on to say, "I'd love to pick up one of these packs, but the price tag really pushes me away. It's thirty seven Fifty per figure, and even the Sunman Deluxe was only thirty dollars. The Horde Pack being one hundred and fifty was also a steep step for me. At least it was three different figures. This is just one character, four different but still similar sculpts. If they had released it at a hundred dollars, I think this would have sold better. One hundred percent, I totally agree. I still just laugh at the scalpers who that pushed to sell these things at a huge markup, and now they're just sitting on them. This is a real win for the consumers here. Uh, LOL. Absolutely, Ostromandus Toys, 100%, I totally agree with you. Damon uh, Sugameli uh, says, uh, I did debate for quite a while, even up to an hour or so before it went on sale, and pulled the trigger to order one. I didn't really expect it to sell out within a few minutes, but I also didn't want to take any chances because I wanted a set. Absolutely, and I totally agree. Uh, you know, I'm in, the, I'm in the, on that same boat. Honestly, I wasn't surprised at all by the price point simply because Sunman was at $30. Each individual He-Man figure is packaged in the exact same way, so multiply 30 by 4, it equals $120. Interesting. Add that extra unique packaging and all that comes bundled in. I am, however, shocked that it hasn't sold out by now. Wonderful insight, Damon. Thank you so much for, 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 for that comment. Sherlock uh, comments that Mattel and Hasbro seem to have gone to the same seminar. Uh, let's see what they'll spend. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting comment. Um, and I believe it's, it's, it's in reference to uh, what's happening with Ghost Rider right now. Yeah, so it seems like there are people who are, you know, for the actual four-pack. And, of course, there is the opposite side where people are really, really kind of upset about this. 
But you know what? That really wasn't the, uh, the major issue today. Today, what uh, really got people's ire up had to do a lot to do with uh, the Mattel creation site itself. And a lot of people did vo uh, chime in and, uh, and talk a lot about what they experienced going onto the site today. Take a look, guys. And this has been um, commented on multiple times, not only on he not only here on YouTube, but also uh, on Instagram as well as Facebook. Um, guys, so, you know, I got a couple of messages on my Instagram uh, page uh, from several different viewers, uh, one being from Primate7, even six. Thank you again, Primate, for the crunchy nuts. Dude, you are amazing. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Private Seven Even Six went on to say, "Hi Jay, today Mattel Creations made a huge change uh, for all European countries regarding pricing and shipping costs. With this change, Eternia set will approximately be 800 euros, I think. The German form is running wild. So that's that's just speculation on Private Seven Even Six, who's uh, a mess actually messaging us from Germany, and apparently the Germ the German Motu uh, Master of the Universe form is going crazy right now uh, with speculation that it will end up being 800 euros for its Eternia. That's absolutely crazy. Um, that was followed up by uh, Same, uh, who went on to tell me he's enjoying my videos, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, same, I, I it, you know it, it really really uh, means a lot to me. Um, he goes on to say that as I ordered the 40th anniversary four pack when it was available, I checked the site daily to find out when it so when it sold out. Today I was confused when I refreshed the site. To, uh, the price was two hundred and thirty dollars. I directly found out what was going on was the price in euros. I was thinking that it might uh, interest you for a video because a hundred and fifty dollars uh, aren't two hundred and thirty euros and 210 pounds it's actually translates to 152 50 euros and 132 26 pounds when you change the shipping location at the bottom of the Mattel creation site you will see it over at the uh, Canada Ma Masters of the Universe collectors group we got uh, a lot of people talking about what's happening with the pricing structure over at Mattel Creations for Canada. Mike Pollington, I hope I pronounced that right, Mike, uh, goes on to say, everybody needs to go to the Mattel page and complain about the exchange calculations so it's actually right. Otherwise, they will not do anything about it. So right now, uh, one of the one of the Master Universe Origins pack is, is, is listed at $240. Uh, so along with shipping and Canadian taxes, the final price Canadian is two hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty cents. Wow, one hundred and fifty dollars U.S. at today's exchange rate converts to two hundred and two dollars. That's not right. Uh, if we do a straight conversion, they should not like you know by by all accounts they should not be charging two hundred and forty dollars. Where is the extra forty dollars coming from? And that's the biggest concern for Canadian and of apparently uh, European. Um, you know, consumers, because it seems that it seems that they're getting a hit with an additional um, charge somewhere along the line as well. This is this is a this is becoming a major problem. We get another example of this from Eric De Lima, who says, "Here's another example of the currency conversion on Mattel being a complete scam. Construction Castle Grayskull is 350 at Walmart, 360 at Toys R Us, and 470." At Mattel Creations, the exact same product is uh, the, which is the exact same product, a $120 markup just because. And he's actually included a, a photo. So as we can see here, the Master Constructs is listed at $359 on Toys R Us Canada. On Walmart, it is listed at $349.96. And shockingly, on Mattel Creations, with the conversion rate from the Canadian site, it's listed at a whopping $470. Canadian. That is an absolutely astronomical jump. $120 extra for Canada. And if if uh, if we're to believe what's going on, uh, this also this does not include taxes and does not include shipping. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's insane. And I kept seeing all of these comments uh, throughout the day. Uh, Paul Lazarus says, uh, Mattel jacked up the prices for Canadians, and now they, they charge taxes. This uh, and now they charge taxes. This got stupid expensive. Uh, Warbird Tom says, just check the Mattel creation site. $240 for the four pack now. My eyes are probably messing with me. Unfortunately, that is not the case, Warbird Tom. La De Garadi 41 says, Mattel has increased the price by 50% for Europeans. Why is this happening, guys? Why is this happening? Well, I think it's just a matter of bad timing. We're already having an issue with a $150 US price tag. 
across the board. People are, are, are seem to be uh, having major issues with that. Earlier today, they actually rolled out this conversion rate from different countries on the Mattel Creation site. This was pretty much highlighted as soon as we got on the site. Right at the top, enjoy $13 Canadian Standard and $26 Canadian Express shipping on all orders. Prices are inclusive of duty. So that's actually really good. So I most definitely applaud this move by Mattel Creations. The standard shipping rates and Express for shipping to Canada. Not only that, but it's inclusive of the actual duties. That has always been a big question mark for a lot of Canadians as Oftentimes, when you order something from the States, once it hits the border, it could be hit with duties, it could be hit with taxes. There is a lot of things that can happen uh, once that uh, reaches the border. And it's been a lot of Russian roulette in those cases. So having that option uh, for MattelCreations.com is a huge bonus. And you know what? I really do appreciate that. $13 Canadian is actually a really good price, uh, inclusive of duty. That was never there before. Every single time we've gone onto the Mattel Creation site, the region has been set to Canada. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, which was suggested by Same, a country selector, which says ship to Canada, Afghanistan, uh, and all these additional regions. So you can actually uh, decide where you're shipping to, and that actually will change pricing conversion uh, on the site itself. If we actually go to uh, the Shop Masters of the Universe uh, page, we can now see that the conversion rate has been put into effect. Um, this is Canadian prices, guys, so let's just keep that in mind. Grizzlor is now $29. The Little People is now $48. The Mega Constructs uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive is now $48. Koldar is $28. Triclops is $28. Sunman. The exclusive was, is now $48, Grizzlor is $29, and unfortunately for any of us collectors up here in Canada, uh, the Masters of the Universe Origins 40th Anniversary 4-Pack has now jumped to $240. Holy crap. That is just... That is that is, that is is crazy. That is crazy to think about, and I, I, I'm really concerned about what this, what this does, um, you know, going forward for, you know, international buyers. This is kind of nuts. And as we've already done the conversion, even with fees, let's just, let's just talk about that. Uh, at $150 conversion from US to, Can uh, to Canadian, this shouldn't be any more than $210, $215. It's up with $240. That's, and apparently, um, that is before uh, shipping because, um, you know, we've seen some people like Mike here, have tried to actually, you know, put it in the cart and see what happens. And it it, it, it highlights as $240 plus $13 shipping uh, and then additional taxes on top. That's that's frightening. Um, oh my God. $284 divided by four figures. Oh my God, that's $71.05 a figure. Holy crap, guys. That is absolutely not worth it. That's going to be a problem. That is going to be a big problem going forward. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm hoping that it's an early uh, issue with their conversion rate. Uh, I, you know that happens a lot. Uh, you know, with, with 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 sites trying to trying to do a new rollout with something like this. It seems to be the opinion of, of many people overseas that if this continues to be the case, they will no longer buy from Mattel uh, Creations.com, and that that could be a huge um, mistake. And uh, I really do hope Mattel realizes that going forward and rectifies the situation uh, as expediently as possible because this could be a massive blow to the master universe collectors community and unfortunate an unfortunate black eye for mattel going forward oh man um yeah i uh i'm 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 at wit's end right now i really am at wit's end right now i'm not 100 percent sure uh what's going on now i do know for a fact that um the the site uh that mattel uses to actually um you know, uh, do their sales on the MattelCreations.com is Shopify. Uh, we've seen it whenever their page goes down for maintenance. Uh, it actually says, you know, it's a Shopify holding page. The same thing goes with uh, Hasbro and their uh, Shopify page. We know that that multiple larger companies using Shopify to uh, to handle their their online sales, um, uh, and they have had problems in the past. This seems to be a little bit rooted more in um, overall pricing structure. There seems to be something going on with their conversion rate, and I'm uh, not exactly sure what's happening, but it seems that a lot of people are noticing, not only here in Canada, but in Europe, Germany, so many other different places where uh, people are looking to actually pick up Master Universe Origins 4-pack. So it's bringing a lot of things to light, and I actually am quite shocked that it's gotten to this many people. 
Uh, we saw all the comments that were, uh, you know, put forward in my video. And I'm curious to find out how many more people have been affected by this. Uh, you know, Facebook, people are already noticing it, uh, as well as Instagram. It seems to be um, popping up pretty much everywhere. This might become a big thing um, for Mattel Creations going forward, and I really hope that they rectify the situation sooner rather than later, as it could be... Yeah, it could be a big uh, issue for uh, for public relations, uh, you know, for foreign, for countries outside of the United States, which can be, you know, a major market for for Mattel and any other uh, toy company going forward. However, it, it is it is pretty evident that uh, there are both sides uh, to the argument in terms of whether or not this um, this uh, four pack was a good purchase. Some people are very very much uh, for it, and some people are staunchly against it. So, you know, I, I, I'm wondering, you know, I'm going to put the question out there to you guys. What are your thoughts on this, uh, you know, new development with the uh, exchange rates that are on MattelCreations.com? Uh, are you concerned that this is going to be something that uh, continues in the future and uh, we might actually be seeing slightly elevated uh, exchange rates? And shipping seems to be a major issue as well uh, in terms of the overall rates uh, for, for the flat, flat rate shipping. Uh, that, does that concern you as a, as a client and a uh, consumer uh, for, for Mattel Creations? Are you concerned that uh, projects like Eternia might actually also suffer from this, uh, you know, inflated, um, you know, exchange rate? And what do you think uh, Mattel will be doing about it uh, come forward? Uh, you know, hopefully in the short term, because, um, you know, we still have to worry about Camel Con. We still have to worry about Eternia. You know, for people who are interested in it, the Fall Guys, you know, there are some products right now uh, for the 40th anniversary, which, uh, you know, are still on the plate and people are still looking forward to that. Uh, aside from that, are you guys uh, at all uh, on the you know pro side for the four pack, or are you guys completely against the four pack and don't and think it should never have actually uh, you know been put forward in the first place? Please, guys, leave those comments in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, and as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We do have the power. And Mattel knows it. But what are they doing about it? I guess time will tell. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.